Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ramen flash review for Samsung Captivate. Today we've got Auxura 2.2.3 by Devs for Android Team. Go ahead and get it powered up. Obviously we've replaced with our custom boot screen. Uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out my latest video for Vibrant, which is the T959 boot screen installer video. You can actually change to whatever you'd like, followed by the kernel screen for Vibrant. This ROM is based on Froyo KB1 for the Vibrant. It's going to use the KB1 uh, source, the kernel, and the modem, all from the actual original source. Then we move into an Exora boot screen. No noise for the, uh, the latest version. Now straight out of the box, uh, we're going to have four launchers. Um, so we'll go through each one of those real quick and give you an idea of what to expect. That's still loading in the background, so I'm going to let it load a little more. But the launchers we have are the ADW Launcher, the Gingerbread Launcher, Launcher Pro, and Zeme. I'm sure you guys are familiar with a bunch of these. Um, the ADW Launcher has the uh, three icon dock at the bottom. Uh, nothing left on the side, so you can go ahead and make it your own. Uh, it's got horizontal scrolling for the applications. And then obviously if we go back to the regular screen, we've got the, uh, the more option. And we can customize some of the settings for the actual um, launcher in there. If we wanted to see our gingerbread launcher, we'd get something like this. Three icon dock at the bottom, small power controls on the side. Obviously the uh, vertical scrolling, uh, 3D scrolling for that. And we get the cool manage apps option there. If we wanted to check out the Launcher Pro, we get the five icon dock at the bottom. Fully customizable there. Um, Launcher Pro is actually one of my favorites. It's really cool. Uh, you get the... Uh, the uh, vertical scrolling on that as well. Uh, and I apologize, uh, my son was born a couple days ago so you may hear some baby noises in this film and there's nothing I can do about it. You guys who have kids, you all know how that is, been there, done that. So um, the next launcher to cover would be Zeme, it's also the last one on the list and uh, it's obviously got the six icon dock that's customizable, you can pick how many you want, vertical scrolling, yada yada yada, it's got the gestures so obviously I swipe down there and it went up, double tap, pick any screen so uh, those are your options there we'll go ahead and keep it simple with uh, ADW launcher for now um, obviously if we were to take a look at our settings uh, for sound we would uh, we would notice that we do not have the ability to tie the ringer to the volume a lot of people are missing that um, for display we've actually got five unlock screens now we've added an unlock screen with the latest mod that's been released to rotary unlock so switching lock screens is this simple and that's a really cool unlock there all bloatware has been removed for this uh, particular ROM there's been an added bloatware uh, bloater application more about the developer is in the original post for this and you can pick which bloat you would like to install so in case you're missing something that was removed you can actually add that if you would like. Um, everything's been themed, so we've got theme settings, menus, themed uh, web, theme gallery, themed lock screens, notification bars have been themed. We've also got a custom font, so we've got this cool blue background uh, with the Auxura stuff. Um, pretty cool stuff there. So a lot of theming going on, a lot of um, policy changes to the Android.jar files, um, a lot of things like that. A couple themed apps would be the market. Obviously, we'll wait for the first time that it loads up, but uh, we've got a blue market. Now, on other ROMs, I've noticed that this market can be lost as you upgrade, but for now, super cool, uh, something really nice. Uh, the SMS has also obviously been themed over to a blue style setting as well, as contacts and a few other things. Uh, this version of Auxura has dropped the, um, the front-facing camera support. So if you want to do that, you'd have to add a different camera and make sure the ROM supports it. So that's something that we uh, we lost coming from 2.2.9 is the front-facing camera support for a more stable camera. Um, it has the latest BusyBox. There's a lot of build.prop changes to support some of the new stuff in the ROM. And um, there's a lot of other cool things as well. So I'm going to allow you guys to take a breather. And when we come back, we'll get ready for some scores. And we'll talk a little more about the ROM in further detail. Okay guys, we're back for some scores, so let's go ahead and check some stuff out. On this particular run, we've had Linpack, Nanomart, Neocore, and Quadrant. Go ahead and get started with a Linpack, but first we'll go ahead and do a full uh, end all task manager as well as a level 2 memory clear. And we'll get ready for this. Now 
Now hang around. If you don't care about the scores, hang around for the end. We do have a little bonus. We're going to show you an optional theme uh, that the devs for Android team has uh, given out. We'll go ahead and do uh, our first test. Probably won't count for that ad. 14 flat, which is about exactly dead on for a stock kernel. So we've got 14.1. That's really good. And we'll do a one more kill, and we'll go to the next one. Okay, so 50.1 for our Ninomark. Go ahead and do one more task kill. Get ready for our level 2 RAM clear. Go back to the home screen. And we'll load up Neocore. Fifty five point six as expected, and we'll go ahead and get ready for our last test, which is quadrant. And I know this is all sideways, but get ready for our last test, which is quadrant. Get the phone reoriented there. And get ready for our quadrant test. And I'll back out just a little bit. And we'll run the full benchmark. Also, as a note, get ready, I will be performing the front-facing camera mod for all of you Vibrant guys. I've got three cameras available right now. Uh, two are for sale. If you'd like to buy one, just PM me for a price. This will keep you from having to buy uh, the three quantity minimum uh, that you can expect to have to buy from Global Direct. Uh, so I'm offering them at a small markup as single units. I'll also be offering this as a service as well, uh, but I'm going to give you the video so you can give it a shot yourself if you want. If not, I'd be more than happy to do this for you. Uh, so keep an eye out. The FFC hack is coming, and the service is coming as well, and I do have two cameras currently available for any of you guys looking for a camera to where you don't have to buy a quantity of three. So that's all coming. Check out our scores for Quadrant, and we have a... 16, I'm sorry, 1537. So fantastic score. We're on top of everything with Quadrant. Everything looks good. This ROM is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm actually very impressed with it. You should definitely consider flashing to this. Uh, but hang on. I'm going to power down, flash a theme, and I'll show you an optional theme. Uh, it's just one of the flavors that you can, you can mix and match with this. So just hang on for a second, and I'll flash that, and we'll get right back to you. Okay, we're back with our theme. We flashed the Ginger 3.5 theme, and it's going to give a nice gingerbread look and feel to the device. That's uh, something really cool. That can be found at devsforandroid.com. That's devs, F-O-R, android.com. Tons of other cool stuff over there for the Xura platforms, uh, but you can kind of see what it does there. You get a nice green look and feel to it. Uh, something kind of cool if you want to gingerize your particular phone. You get some icons up top. Uh, obviously everything is accented with green, so if you highlight something, accented with green. So a lot of cool things going on there. So this is Auxura 2.2.3 by Devs for Android Team. It's a fantastic ROM, tons of reasons to switch. 
optional theme packs, tons of stuff here. I also wanted to point out that the download mode jigs are still on sale for just $8 a pop. Go in like that. You can really save your device there and you can get the download mode and absolutely no issues at all. So check that out as well. That's at mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to donate to your developer. Um, they spend a lot of time on these ROMs and they appreciate your donations very, very much. If you feel like donating to my cause and like to see these ROM reviews and more of them, feel free to donate to me as well. Buy me a beer. Uh, help me pay for my web hosting. I always appreciate that as well. And I'd like to thank those of you that have done that in the past. So. This uh, has been a Mobile Tech Videos Ramen and Flash review. Thanks for checking us out. Keep an eye out for the FFC mod uh, video. Keep an eye out for uh, the jigs as they'll be $8 for a while now. And um, as always, if you're ready to flash, good luck.